Hi mga kalagan, ako si Kalagan Fritz at ito ang Laagan sa Sugbo. Don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Laagan sa Sugbo and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Laagan sa Sugbo. It's another pageant episode and another pageant queen na naman ang machichikahan natin sa araw na to. Help me welcome Mrs. Cebu Philippines 2022 who will be representing Alcoy. We had Mrs. Julian me, Vera Cruz. Hello, Sir Fritz. Hello, Miss. How are you? I'm feeling great. Thank you for asking. Good. And if I may ask, uh, how was the competition so far? It's uh, uh, it's good. We have been practicing always, so everything is uh, going smoothly so far. Good, yes. good. Now, here at Lagan sa Subo, we have these segments. Mm -hmm. The first segment that we have is the boiling question. Boiling talaga. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but the question is, are you ready? Okay. Of course, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, now, there are boiling questions in front of us. I want you to pick one first and okay. give it to me. Go ahead. Okay, sige. Here you go. All right. Okay, your first boiling question is, in your opinion, mm -hmm. what effect is unsupervised internet usage having on you today's youth? Okay, that's a tricky question. Um, I have a son. He mm -hmm. is 16 years old, obviously mm -hmm. a teenager. So when he started uh, using internet and gadgets, I make it a point to supervise him. So if I didn't do that earlier on, I think he'd have a, a bad eyesight. Mm -hmm. He'd um, lose focus on reality. Um, I think he'd also um, ignore family time, especially the time when we go to to church mm -hmm. and lastly his health would deteriorate because let's face it uh, when you when you use the internet you wouldn't want to to eat anymore especially when you, yes. you when you you play online games yeah. right <laughs> so uh, I've heard that also in the news um, a lot of kids playing online games to the point that they starve starve themselves so it, worse they even die so mm -hmm. we don't want that to happen in our youth today so I think those uh, the, the enumerated reasons or the effects that I told you about earlier, those things will also happen in our youth today. Yes, no matter. Without supervision, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Correct, no matter. Because they don't want to eat because they're full on their cell phone, right? Yes, diba? correct, oh, correct, oh. correct. And also, if if also, din natin alam if we will not be uh, supervise them, din na natin alam anong mga pina uh, pinanood nila yes. sa cell phone nila or yes, tablet. Yes, yes, we don't know. They mm -hmm. might be <laughs> watching porn or yes, which is we don't which know. is no no because yes. they're still kids, right? Correct. Yes. Okay. Now pick your next <laughs> boiling question. All right. Exciting. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. And your next boiling question is, mm -hmm. if you win one of the titles of Mrs. Cebu Philippines 2022, mm -hmm. what is the single most important thing you would want to accomplish? Well, my job description is a crown queen, of course. Mm -hmm. um, Mrs. Cebu Philippines, they have always been uh, all about women empowerment mm -hmm. and our advocacies. So if given a chance to win the crown, one of the crowns, then I do just that. I'd focus more on these two aspects, women empowerment and our, our advocacy. Mm -hmm. And you may ask, what is my advocacy? Yes, so that would be young mother's support. Mm -hmm. So you, you know what? I, I got pregnant when I was 18 years old. Oh. And I bore my son, my firstborn, when I was 19. So obviously I was still a teenager at that time. So I didn't have much resources during that time. So I realized that I really need to have support, proper support. So I experienced that uh, part of my life. I feel what is that kind of feeling being a young mother. So, so I wanted to be a beacon of hope for these young mothers when I win one of the crowns. And I also wanted to be an extra support for them, both financially, emotionally, and mentally, yes. Yes, for being an inspiration. Yes, Deva. inspiration. Okay, <laughs> pick your next boiling question. All right. All right. Oh, okay. Here. Your next boiling question is, if you find yourself where you are being discriminated mm -hmm. against because of race, okay. what would you do? 
Um, racial discrimination is already a big problem since time mm -hmm. immemorial, right? Yes. So it spans across countries, even in the Philippines, it's also rampant. So when I went to Thailand, um, I was fortunate enough that I didn't experience that. Mm -hmm. Even here in the Philippines, I didn't experience it. So that's a good thing. That's a plus point. Um, but if I experience that, if I'm be being discriminated just because I'm an Asian, mm -hmm. so Honestly, I would just walk away. Oh. <laughs> I don't want that kind of negativity. Dead ma. Yes, dead ma lang. <laughs> I don't want that kind of neg negativity. I don't want to stoop on that person's level. So obviously, that person is not well educated enough to mm -hmm. understand what it is to be equal in both in age, in, in gender, and in, in race. Yes. So yeah, like I said, dead ma lang. <laughs> dead ma lang, ba? And also, if you're talking about Thailand, hindi naman sila ganun ka yes, racism, ba? Yes, correct. Yes, mga Thailand, sa wadika! <laughs> okay, now pick your next boiling question. Okay. Last but not the Last least. Last but not the least, okay. Alright. Oh, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. What can men learn from women? Everything. Oh. <laughs> everything about pregnancy. <laughs> yeah. Um, everything about pregnancy. Oh. Uh, the ups and downs, the emotion, the, the roller coaster emotions, our bond between a mother and, and our unborn child. Mm -hmm. Especially the pain that we feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the strength that we get from our inner self in order to um, surpass that kind of pain when we are when we go on labor mm -hmm. but that's just me being sentimental but honestly if, if you're going to ask me about that what men can learn about women is being gentle, gentle. or the act of being gentle or gentleness yeah because I always believe that um, God created women with a with the gentlest of hands Yes, huh? gentle. <laughs> they, gentle. We, all, we are also created with the gentlest of souls and the gentlest of hearts. So men, they are always uh, taught to be uh, masculine, mm -hmm. uh, always thought to be rough and rugged. Yes. But they, they shouldn't be ashamed to be sometimes gentle, right? Yes, no more right? yeah. Being gentle is very okay for men. Yes, yes. true, true. <laughs> okay, Makalagan, before we continue with our next segment, I would like to thank first our sponsor. I would like to thank Cebu Century Plaza Hotel. Thank you very much for the accommodation. And also, I would like to personally thank Team Flora Dermatoleka for always making me fresh because I am Team Flora Touch. Now, let's lighten up, let's loosen up, let's mm. have fun because yes. our next segment is the Fast Talk. Fast. Are you ready? <laughs> ready. Okay, Fast Talk, hot or cold? Cold. <laughs> oh, hindi, Marte ka ba? No. How many times do you take a bath? Once. <laughs> no cell phone, no internet? Uh, no internet. One piece or two piece when it comes to pageants? One piece. Walang tulog o walang kain? Walang tulog. Favorite pastime? Um, writing. Fruits or vegetable? Fruits. Beauty or brain? Brain. Travel or books? Books! Sweet or spicy? Spicy. YouTube or Netflix? Uh, YouTube. Hashtag ng buhay mo? Laban Alcoy. Yes! Hashtag <laughs> Laban Alcoy. Alcoy. Okay. Yes. Now, can you please invite our logons to Cebu viewers your social media or where we can support you or follow you for the upcoming Miss Cebu Philippines 2022. Go yes. ahead. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Julian May, Feliciana Vercus, and I'm candidate number 11. I'd like to thank you for watching this uh, YouTube video, channel, the channel of Sir Fritz. Thank um, you. Laagan sa Sugbo. Please like and subscribe and and click on the bell button for him yes. <laughs> and also uh, please like and subscribe the official p Facebook page of Mrs. Cebu Philippines and I hope to see you this coming October 23 for the coronation night of Mrs. Cebu Philippines 2022 7 p.m. please so it's a date Okay. Yes. Once again, Makalagan, our Mrs. Cebu Philippines 2022, who will be representing Alcoy, we have Mrs. Julian May Vera Cruz. Thank you, Sir Fritz. You're welcome. Congratulations and good luck on your competition. Thank you so much. I enjoyed your time. Oh, thank you as well. Okay. <laughs> and also, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel at Lagan Sa Subu and click the bell button for notification. Like our official Facebook page at Lagan Sa Subu.
you may also follow me on my TikTok account, Instagram, and Facebook at Fritz Gerald Alcaraz. Once again, ako si Kalaagan Fritz, nagsasabi, stay safe, stay safe. be a responsible Kalaagan, and this is Laagan, Laagan sa Subo! Sa subo.